Hello everybody. It's your boy Thy Mule. Here we are once again. Northwest wind. We're going stealth camping at Home Depot in a shed. So this is the first stealth camping video that I've ever done. This will be the first of the Northwest wind era. So welcome, enjoy. We are heading up to Home Depot and tonight we are stealth camping in one of their uh, model display sheds. So we're only gonna keep it classy around here and I refuse to camp in any shed that is less than uh, fully accommodating. Yeah. I'm honestly kind of nervous, but also very excited. I've been cheesing at this idea for a few weeks now. I'm cheesing, just like when I did the train hopping video. I was jittery, nervous, excited. Like, what the hell am I getting myself into? I feel the same way right now. But more excited, not afraid. Getting on the train, I was very much afraid of uh, potentially getting smushed. Oh, I see some sheds. Ooh, they got a nice botanical gardens behind the hotel. Look like somebody is already uh, trying to camp here tonight. Look at all these. Ooh, for every level of creature comfort. Oh, wow. It's actually the shed I have at our house. We got that delivered and installed. It's very spacious, but this one looks like it has a loft and a window. Let's go take our tour. Shout out to that guy. He's got the pit bike on the front. He's also got a killer mustache. All right, so we're here. Uh, it's five, about 5.30 right now. Uh, they are open till 9 p.m., I think. Is it 9 p.m. or 10 p.m.? Let me check. All right, verified. I swore it was 9 p.m., but that's because yesterday was Sunday. They close at 9 on Sunday. They close at 10 p.m. tonight. So I've got four and a half hours uh, before any workers leave. And they open at 6 a.m., which is interesting. So I'm probably going to set my alarm for 5.45, 6, and just get up and roll out of here very quickly. So first things first, let's go uh, scout out our accommodations for the evening. I'm thinking something with a California King, maybe a, a nice desk to do some uh, some of my studies and writing and, uh, you know, order up some room service. Yeah. The trick to this is go scout the sheds without people wondering why I'm filming sheds. I really just want to pick out which one we're going to camp in tonight. So we got seven or eight different ones to choose from. Kind of want something that's going to breathe a little bit. I really don't want to get locked in there tonight either. Uh, this one's really dirty and smells like shh. There is ventilation. Not really a fan of this one with the sliding doors. Oh, that's loud. I'm not even gonna bother with that. It's really kind of low in here too. My head is basically touching this. Well, like an inch or two. See what else they have to offer. So this one's very nice. It actually has a window, which I like, and some vents. And it just kind of looks very cheery, nice and red and gray. Ooh, there's a loft. I could set a table on here. This might be the one. I really like this one. The door props open. And yeah, having that ventilation is key. I can also see out. This might be the one. I could sleep up here if I want. Tuck under there. I kind of like this. I think this is the one nice and spacious. I got the window so I can open it and it's open. It's supposed to be a little chilly tonight, which will be nice with the window open. It's actually kind of cool in here too, because I have this insulated ceiling. And I really like this because I can sit up here and see out or peek out. And if anyone kind of looks in here at night, they're just going to see this instead of down there. And I'll just be tucked under there. I could be tucked right down here with the door shut. Let me see what this feels like with the door closed oh yeah i think this is the one boys and girls this is it for sure we uh see how weird this is oh yeah so the trick is to like i said act as inconspicuous as possible now somehow drop my gear off probably behind the shed or maybe just toss it in here at some point as it gets closer to dark uh, from there i can make sure the coast is kind of clear and just kind of meander over here, pretend like I'm on the phone, and then 
sneak in here because I think once I'm in here for the evening, I'm probably not going to go out unless I really have to pee. I did bring some bottles of water, so I have to pee. I can go do that. But let me uh, let me get out of here and just check out the other sheds for fun. But I think it's big red. This one's red, so I think big red is the winner. It's actually kind of cool in here too for how hot it is. So, all right, hang on. Oh, there's people everywhere. 5.30 on a Monday at Home Depot and I'm... So yeah, I think that's the one, just the window alone. And that... This one has a window up there leading me to believe it might have a loft. So let's go check this out. This is interesting. Oh yeah, there is a loft. Oh, it's very misleading. Oh, there's a window back here. This breeze is nice. This might be the winner. It's just, you got the double windows. There's literally a breeze coming from here, going up to there. And there's a loft up there. I wonder if I can sleep up there. That might be kind of dangerous though. Oh, there's people buying flowers. This is nice though too, because behind us, you got the botanical, the Home Depot, National Treasured Botanical Gardens. So, you know, I might take a tour of that later, see all of their floras and faunas. But I think I'm gonna stick with Big Red. It's just cozier. Uh, it feels a lot more secure and safe. This one's sweet though, because literally there's two windows. So you got the breeze is flowing from right there all the way up through. But I just like having that workbench cubby hole to sleep under. So let's get out of here. Definitely already gotten some looks from people because I'm walking in the Home Depot parking lot with a tripod talking to the camera. This is 99% sure that's the one. Just looks very lay peep and candied. Got the window, got the vent. And again, just, it feels like home. It really does. I'm, I'm sold, this is it. Can nest and knock right down in there and bed down got the little table to put stuff on and i still got the window for some ventilation it just feels a lot cozier than one of those big ones there's no wasps or bees or anything i thought to look for that one thing i did think about was in case they lock these at night uh there is a key up here so i'm not gonna take the key out because if i get locked out then i'm just gonna abort if they lock these at night i don't think they do but in the event that I get locked in for some reason, I think that these from the inside by law have to be safety released. So even if it's locked, I can still get out. And I guess this is just a little plastic I can get out if I need to. Okay, so I'm in here. And I think I'm just gonna sleep right here. I need to figure out how I'm going to get my gear. It's just a book bag and my bedroll, sleeping bag, sleeping pad. Um, book bag has got a pillow in it and a little portable fan um, and some snacks for snack time. I don't know if I want to put it in here yet in case someone opens it. Actually, I don't want to do that at all. Um, maybe I'll just try and get it all in here with my person at that time. But need to figure out the best way to do that. Probably close to dusk or after dark. Also dinner. Uh, I will be eating dinner probably sooner than later. I'd like to eat in here though. Uh, I was going to bring my camp stove uh, or a jet boil or any kind of cooking device, but I don't really want to be in here until it gets dark. I also don't want to give off any light in here. Yeah, there's people right here. This is sketchy, sorry. I also don't want to give off any light or smells, like where is that coming from? Um, this is also a completely raw wood structure. So I figured on top of it not being a good idea for light and smells, uh, I don't really want to start a fire while I'm in here or while I'm not in here. I might just go to Walmart and grab like some Lunchables and make a little adult charcuterie, charcuterie, charblut, charcuterie. How do you say it? Charcuterie, charcuterie, meat and cheese. It's just easier to say meat and cheese. All right, get out of here. And there's just people going about their business. Here at good old Home Depot. Having this window is awesome though. And I can see, and there's a breeze. And there's my car right there. Hi.
definitely gotten a few looks. Like, why is that guy coming out of a shed with a camera in his hand? But, well, mind your business. I just want to sleep in a shed at Home Depot on a Monday night because I'm an idiot. Yeah. So, uh, stopped in there, took a PP, scouted for my next two stealth camping missions. Uh, excited about those two. I'm cheesing. It's going to be fun and interesting. Or maybe nobody will watch it or enjoy it or think I'm an idiot, but I'm an idiot either way. So that's to be debated. Uh, it's about 7.45 now. So we're getting closer to the golden hour. Um, they don't close till 10. It's not going to be dark for about another half hour, 40. So in that time, I'm going to make my way back over there and kind of assess. So we'll get there, grab a quick bite. I think I'm gonna get Culver's, cheese curds, french fries, root beer homemade, cheese curds, Wisconsin cheese curds, cheese curds. Mm. Peeing might be an issue. I do have a very active bladder. I pee a lot. Um, but let's get back over there. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I left the window open just to keep the airflow. I don't want to be seen walking around here at night. I also don't want them to see me going in the shed. There's poles with lights everywhere. I can probably just park literally right here. My truck's right here. The shed is right there. I don't see what the difference is. If anyone's gonna tow my car, I'm probably gonna hear them towing it because I know I'm gonna sleep light. I'm not gonna sleep good. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go get Culver's cheese curds. Mm. Cheese curds. I'm gonna go get cheese curds and fries. Something a little light for dinner. Maybe some chicken strips. Mm. Chicken strips. Mm. Um, and then just have that ready to go. One good thing about the sunglasses even when they're not applicable, like in the mall, which I did take them off because I felt like a, a creepy weirdo wearing sunglasses in the mall. Casey Neistat taught me that wearing your sunglasses, shout out to Casey, wearing your sunglasses at strange times, it always feels like you're looking at the camera, even if you're not. Like right now I'm looking up at the store, but it looks like I'm looking at you. So in these parking lot scenarios too, as I'm really scouting out what's going on around me, it looks like I'm just walking straight ahead. Like right now I'm just blah, 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 but so here's Big Red. Be staying in here tonight. Checking out the botanical gardens. I love plants and trees and it's nice and cool out too. I was worried it was gonna be very hot because I know my shed doesn't have great ventilation because I didn't want to pay hundreds of extra dollars to ventilate shovels and a chainsaw and stuff. We look at this, I'm in the botanical gardens. That's Let's go in here. Oh yeah, botanicals. I could probably try and sleep in here too at some point, sleeping in a garden center. I can't sleep with clothes on when it's too hot. I like to be in my underpants and I really was not about to sleep in my underpants, meaning just underwear only, no shirt, no shorts, nothing. I wasn't about to sleep in my underpants in a shed that anyone could walk in at any time, so. Yeah, but the botanical gardens, the Chateau du Home Depot. Need a glass of marmalade and a cigar and a pinky ring. This uh, wasn't very well thought out, nor do I think it needed to be. Mind your business. Mind your business. I'm sleeping in a shed tonight. Mind your business. Hello. <laughs> Cold bears. <laughs> I'm about to get some cheese curds. They're so delicious. Do you like cheese curds? I do. I'm getting a root beer and cheese curds and a french fry. Yeah, shout out to this guy. He spent 30 grand on a camper to go sleep tonight. I'm sleeping in a shed for free. <laughs> yeah, the, the gray wolf camper. <laughs> cool, man. I'm sleeping in a shed. I'm camping at Home Depot for free and you're driving to like Valparaiso, Indiana or something. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Never slept in a shed before. I know, right? You'd think I'm an expert. But uh, never slept in a shed before. And as much as I'm looking forward to it, I've 
never slept in a shed before, so. Yes, hi. I would really like a order of cheese curds okay. and an order of french fries and then a root beer, please, and that'll do it for me. Okay, it's gonna be 986 at the window. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> I also wanted to shout out to Steve Wallace. Much love, hats off. That being said, all the love in the world and respect and admiration for Steve. Nicest guy you'll ever meet, even though I never met him, but you can just tell uh, the kind of guy you wanna have a beer with, uh, even though I don't drink. And uh, just an all around legend. Sorry to interrupt the Steve chatter, but the uh, gray wolf is leaving for its camping journey and I'm going across the street over there to sleep in a shed, so happy trails. But back to showering Steve with love. Um, I don't wanna be seen as copying him. I'm not doing something he's done. As far as I know, I've watched 279 of his videos going back several, several years. Um, I've never seen him camp in a shed at Home Depot. Um, there's also, I have a list including this of five stealth camping ideas and only one of them has been done by him, but not the exact same thing. It's like the same arena, but loosely based. Mykonos loosely based on Spiros. That's what she said. If you know what I'm talking about, I really appreciate that. Um, but only one of the ideas is loosely based on something he did, but it's, you have to see it. You'll know, I'll shout it out when I do that video. So I don't wanna be seen as copying Steve. There is a very niche space on YouTube for stealth camping. He's the godfather, the Pope, the rabbi, the George H.W. Bush of, or the prime minister, because he's Canadian, of stealth camping, but I'm not trying to copy him. I want to put my own spin on things and do things he hasn't done. Maybe I'll do something. Maybe I'll pick my favorite thing he did and do that, but I'm not jocking your swag, nothing but respect and love. Hang on, I got to get my Culver's. <laughs> Kurt. Culver's always has the most friendly workers I've ever encountered at any fast food place always make me feel like I'm valued and taken care of, even when I have to wait. So shout out to Culver's Location X. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, nice, nice. So they locked the garden center area, so that's all inhospitable now. And uh, I just got back, so I just gotta wait it out. So I literally don't have much gear at all. I have my sleeping roll in here. I have my ground cloth, my thermo rest, which is my sleeping pad, my sleeping bag. Then I brought a pillow and then just my book bag with a battery bank, my fan, some snacks, and, uh, and a lantern, some water bottles, and a trash bag. And I got to pee really bad, so I think I'm going to go in the store and pee and then come back out here and make my first move of getting gear in there so hang tight i'm not gonna film in the store i don't want to stand out at all i'm just gonna pee and flee that might be the line of the day you know what, I think I'm just gonna put my stuff in there and then scout for 10 minutes, make sure nobody sees me doing it. Hang on. All right, the name of the game here is just nonchalantly walk over there and see if anything happens. Now I sit and wait. Um, so I'm going to give it a solid 10 minutes just to see if anyone comes or goes. And then I might just make a daring dash to get in there. Good thing is, like I said, I don't have to carry anything. I'm not really afraid of the general public seeing me. I'm more afraid of an employee seeing me. 
at least with being in there, I have that window so I can see out. The cart person's going in, so all right, we're going. Truck's locked, let's just go. Just get in there. Oh, sip my root beer for you. Ow. Ow. Oh, ow. Ow, I just smashed my elbow on the door really bad. I'm in here. So this is my Chateau de Haudibault. And I'm in here, so I figure Probably the next half hour is crucial as far as if anyone's going to try and bust my balls. So let's enjoy ourselves. All right, so I brought this little lantern. I guess that'll help, kind of. I mean, I'm in here, though. Nice. I don't really want to be seen with this. They don't close for a bit, but they get all set up. I got my sleeping pad and all that right over here. My book bag. I got plenty of room. Part of me wants to leave the lantern on and go walk back to the truck and see if I could see the lantern on in here from different angles, but I really don't want to walk back in the store or do that. So I'm just gonna keep it off as much as possible. But, all right. Hang on. It's kind of scary. Nobody knows I'm in here, I don't think. Except me and my tea skirts, because I'm gonna eat them now. So like I said, I, I don't want to be too loud in here because it is echoey. <clears throat> so sauteed, I'm gonna eat all these. I hear a cart person, I'm gonna lay low for a bit. Peep out this window, hang on. Oh crap, right there. He's right there. Please leave me alone. Oh, I'm about to get busted. I swear I'm about to get busted. The person's literally right outside the shed. shaking so bad he put the carts 10 feet outside the door and I'm like he must be checking the sheds I think he's gone I thought he was checking the shed doors so I got the pillow blocking the window but quick rundown got my sleeping roll here my lantern bag and my culvers I'm gonna unroll this right here and do my thing but I'm gonna wait a bit I almost I almost kind of want to switch to a different shed because without windows I can turn my light on. I didn't think about that till just now, but if I had windows, I can't have my light on. If I don't have windows, I can be bright. I don't know what to do. So that cart guy's still going to town. It's it's about nine o'clock. My lantern's dying because I used it camping four times this year and haven't changed the batteries yet. So should have checked that before I came, but I gotta lay low. So it's uh, between nine and 9.30, probably closer to 9.30. It's really quieted down down there. I ate my cheese curds and kind of just sat here in the dark for about a half hour. Uh, I think the cart people are slowly tidying up the rest of the lot for the night. I haven't heard them go by in a few minutes. So, so far, I think uh, my first stealth camp is uh, gone pretty well. I'd like to uh, end it well or get through the night.
Um, the store opens at 6 a.m. Uh, my alarm is set for 6 a.m. So the minute that it goes off, I'm up, rolled out of here. My truck's literally, I could pee to it. You know what that means, because it's, I'm able to pee to it. See what I'm saying? Um, this is kind of like the least exciting part, because now that I'm in here, I can't really do anything. Even this light is kind of conspicuous. This is interesting. I'm only less than, if not right at the nose of two miles from my house. I could be in my bed right now next to my beautiful fiance, uh, cuddling with my dogs, watching Home Improvement. And I uh, decided to come camp in a shed. And I'm laying on the floor in a shed at Home Depot right now. So here you have it. I'm in a shed at Home Depot. It's my sleeping pad, my thermorest, sleeping bag pillow, lantern bag, and that's it. So I'm gonna shut this light off and I'm gonna lay down. I mean, it's nice having the light come in from up there. Let's see what's going on out there. Still plenty of cars. Store's closing very soon though, about 15, 20 minutes, so. Uh, so nice and... So sorry that it's kind of a boring section of the actual stealth camping, but like I said, it's a very, very, very public spot. Somebody could walk in this door at any second and there's zero I can do about it besides just be polite and hopefully not scare them or pose a threat, which obviously I don't. Hang on. The goal was just to get here, make it in here with all my stuff, stay in here for the whole night and sleep. Uh, I wanted to eat on camera because that's customary with uh, stealth camping. Got to make a dinner. Wanted to make a quality video for the first round, something, uh, something a little edgy and competitive in the space in the you know stealth camping vertical a very robust marketplace yeah i'm going to uh shut it down i'm gonna try and go to sleep i'm really stupid because i forgot i brought my headlamp so here we are shed paradise i'm just getting a little like stir crazy kind of like nervous I'm just kind of like afraid that I'm gonna fall asleep and then somebody's gonna walk in here, but uh, yeah, I guess that's the risk of stealth camping. So first timer out here, shout out to Uncle Steve for all the good tips. What is that? No, oh, no. Oh, there's a little bit of mouse poop in here. That sucks. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? My name is Thy Mule, and I'm in a shed at Home Depot, stealth camping. Um, all right, I'm really going to bed now, so I'll check in if I wake up or if anything interesting happens. Um, if not, I'm actually just going to try and sleep, so I've said that like six times probably. So... I don't know if stealth camping is actually camping and trying not to get caught or just trespassing and pretending to be homeless. So the store's been closed for quite a while now. I fell asleep for a little bit. Ugh, I'm tired. I fell asleep for probably, I don't know, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I'm gonna try and go back to bed. So it's late. There's definitely like a third shift crew here. Truck just got here. They're doing their thing. So I'm laying low. I'm going back to bed. It's late. The darkest hours of the night. Shout out to Stobe. Northwest wind stealth camping. It's five o'clock in the morning. This guy wants to work the overnight shift. 
He's now just starting his bike and revving it up. People are trying to sleep. That also means that I made it through the night. Still about another hour until the store opens, until my alarm goes off, so I'm gonna try and go back to bed. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, see, it's... Sons of Home Depot, Arky. Uh, it's 5.17 in the morning. Stobe the Hobo in Survivor Man, a.k.a. Les Stroud, always said, well, if you sweat, you die, but also, if you can make it from 3 to 4 in the morning, you've made it through the night. And that's when I woke up, and it was hard to fall back asleep, and I almost wanted to call it quits, even though I knew I wasn't going to. I gotta go back to bed. I'm going back to bed. Ten minutes later, and now there's a street sweeper. He just made like five passes right here. So Sons of Anarchy and Sweeps of Anarchy and it's great. Oh. It's 7.10 in the morning. I didn't sleep that good, but it's okay. My alarm was set for six, and I was awake because of all the commotion, because the store opens and everyone arrives. And it was still dark out. So I decided I'm just going to go back to bed for another hour. The sun usually comes up right now about 6.50. So right now it's about 7.10. And, uh... Yeah, it's bright outside. Cheese curds, cheese curds. Mm. So I peed in my Culver's cup, which was kind of key to have. I think I'm gonna do that in situations like this, just have something to pee in. It's nice and cool in here. It's still cool in here now. Having that window was super flambe. So I want a coffee and Starbucks is right there. So I'm gonna pack up here and we'll get out of here. So the system is, and I use this when I go camping too. This is how we did it at Kiwaden. You got your ground cloth. Usually it's spread out as another base layer in the tent or on the ground or wherever. Then your thermorest or sleeping pad and then your sleeping bag goes in the middle. So just a big, and then fold that over. And we just tie it off. So yeah, very simple. So I'm literally packed up, weighs like nothing. Normally I put a towel on top of my sleeping bag and put all my clothes on top of that and just add to the roll. And then when I unroll it, like how I was laying, I roll the towel up with the clothes in it that I'm not wearing and use that as a pillow. I peed in this, this is pee. But it was nice to not have to get out of here to pee because I wasn't about to get caught. So make a sweep. Even in my regular camping videos, I always make a sweep. In this case, there's really nowhere else to look, but make a sweep. Make sure you got everything out of here. I'm gonna check out the window. Don't see any, don't see any employees or anything. My truck's unlocked. All right, let's. Get out of here. Hello. I camped in that shed last night. Ooh, it's nice out this morning. Oh, I need some water so bad. So it's 
get out of here. So by any scale in which you measure stealth camping success, I would say that was uh, a 10 out of 10, especially for the first one. Aside from the fact that I could not cook in there. Well, I guess I could have, but I didn't want to. So uh, again, not trying to copy Steve Wallace. I've never seen him sleep in a shed at Home Depot. Um, did it my own way, had some fun. Went to bed pretty early too. Like I said, the, the boredom factor is definitely a thing. That's why cooking would be a lot more hospital because it's actually something to do. I feel really grimy and dirty. I was gonna like shower and change my clothes before I went yesterday. And I'm like, you know what, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to sleep in a shed at Home Depot. So why bother wasting a clean pair of clothes and wasting the water to shower? I feel pretty Clark Gristle right now, Gristle Walled, Gristle Walled. Can't wait to take a nice hot shower. All right, well, got my coffee in me, just got home. I am uh, definitely happy with the results. A lot of cool ideas coming. A few more stealths I plan to do for sure. We'll see how those go and then I decide if we're gonna keep this going. But as I mentioned last night, I got at least two more ideas I'm gonna do for sure and a short list of things that I would like to do. Um, got some awesome canoe trips planned, some trips to Canada planned, a lot of good stuff in the pipeline. Uh, appreciate you being here, Northwest Wind. Um, and yeah, it's, it's uh, exciting, so. Being that this was my first stealth camping video, if you saw anything you liked, uh, let me know so I can do more of it. If you see anything you didn't like, uh, let me know so I can tinker with it or tell you politely that I don't care. Any tips or suggestions, let me know. Please give me ideas for stealth camping missions. Uh, if there's something you haven't seen done or you would like seen done again, uh, let me know. I'm always open to try. Um, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there, so. That was fun, that was a lot of fun. See you guys soon.